Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura and I have a very simple wool coat that is my go-to jacket. I love it. However, it's very simple and sometimes I would just like to add a little bit of pizzazz to it. And I'm going to do it all with one yard of fabric. For this project, I'm going to be using a faux fur. This fabric is from Shannon Fabrics. It's their Lux Cuddle Red Fox. It sews just like fabric. It's very, very light and easy to use. But it's such a beautiful looking faux fur. I'm going to need one yard of fabric. This fabric is 60 inches wide and I bought one yard at 36 inches. You're going to need nothing special to sew with this. And it's going to be very quick and easy. Fold the fabric in half, right sides facing. So I have the fold along one edge and the selvage on the other. I want to start and sew the bottom edge. From the fold down, mark 15 inches and do that on both sides. From those 15 inch marks, you need to sew down up until the center. You're going to need a small portion to turn this all right side out. So anywhere between 8 to 10 inches and it can be anywhere along the edge. For your seam allowance I would recommend about a half an inch. Now you can do whatever is comfortable for you. You're going to want to pin the edges together and then take that fur and tuck it inside. Now you could do this with lots of other fabrics but I'm just showing you today with the fur. So I'm going to pin and stitch the one corner and the second corner. So I have the two big L stitches with the opening here to turn it right side out. The next thing I want to do is sew these two edges together. But to do that, we're going to need to take this edge and pull it to this edge. Put your hand in the one hole and take that edge and pull it to this edge. So I'm going to take that edge and I'm going to pull it right over to this edge. So those two side seams are going to be together. Just pull those two seams together and you're going to have this round looped seam. Match up the two side seams and stitch that circle together. This is one time I'm going to use a lot of pins. You're going to be able to see your first L stitching. So you're going to be able to start, stitch all the way around and then stop at that other seam. Once that seam has been stitched, all you need to do is turn it right side out. Now the fur is very easy to work with. It's very soft and it even has a little bit of a stretch to it. So you'll have no problem stitching it. I do have a video on how to stitch with faux fur. I'll put a link in the description if you need it. You need to turn all of this right side out now through that opening. And because I'm using fur, it's very forgiving. I'm not even going to trim the ends. I'm just going to poke them out. It's going to seem very strange turning this right side out. When you've turned it right side out, you still have the fold up at the top and it's one long tunnel. This area was that 15 inch loop that you put together and that was the first L seam that you... Let me show you in this direction. Here's the fold. That seam was that 15 inch round one and this edge are the L seams. So right at the bottom you have this opening and you can stitch that opening closed by hand. This is all there is to it. You can change that 15 inch to something a little bit smaller if you'd like but I would stick with a 60 inch wide fabric. And let me show you all the different ways you can wear this. So I have this big tunnel with the two L seams in it. And I can place this right over my head. So here are those two corners with the L seams. So I can wear it just in front, put it on the side so that I have a drape on one side and a lovely drape on the back. Not only can the split go in the front, but it can go in the back. So for the back, you see your split in the back. And because you have this nice big 15 inch tunnel, you are going to be able to wear this as a hood. It's a nice, soft, comfortable hood. 
that's very easy to put down when you don't need the hood. So out of one yard of fabric, I've taken a plain and simple coat and I've added some pizzazz to it. It's definitely a lot more fun to wear now and it could be changed whenever you want. Just think of all the different furs that you could make simple collars with one yard of fabric. Thank you for joining me today on Sew Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.